Greetings, Traveler, and welcome back to the Lapis Kingdom. I am the Blue Regent, and I am here to announce that there has been another small update for Valheim that was released today. The patch is 0.150.3. It seems like for the most part, these are just minor tweaks. However, they will have a little bit of an impact on overall performance. The patch notes read, this was a long one. This patch has been taking extra long time to develop due to the new terrain modification system. The new terrain modification system is made to reduce the number of network instances and make loading faster and smoother. Technically, it's a pretty big change, but hopefully you should not notice that much of a difference except some minor behavior changes in, to the hoe and pickaxe and of course much smoother loading of areas with a lot of terrain modifications. So that's cool. Um, you know, this is it's a big change, but not really a big change for us necessarily. Um, however, something that's going to help performance in that way, you know, that's that's going to be nice, especially in, in areas where people have um, like super modified terrain for villages and stuff. Um, you know, that's going to be helpful so that you're not getting bogged down the moment you start to load, you know, anything that you've been spending a lot of time working on. All terrain modifications after this patch, using the hoe, pickaxe, or cultivator, will automatically use the new modification system. For existing areas where heavy terrain modifications have been made before this patch, we have added a special console command, opterrain, that basically converts all the old terrain modifications in the nearby area to the new system. To use the opterrain console command, you first need to enable the in-game console by adding console as a launch argument for the game. So that's nice. You know, the fact that it's a, a tweak that can be applied to older maps, um, you know, I feel like that's crucial. You know, anytime games update and you have to start a whole new game just to see all the benefits of the update, you know, I, I've always found that kind of frustrating, especially when the game is, um, when the game is in early access because obviously that's going to be happening all the time. So if every time an early access game updates, which hopefully is pretty often, especially in the early days, um, you know, you need to start a new world, start a new map, start a new character, you know, that, that, that gets old after a while. So it's, it's cool that this is uh, retroactive as well. So the rest of the patch is Swamp Draugir Spawner Location Fixed to Prevent Draugirs from Spawning Inside Stones. Which is cool. Um, it looks like they are going to be spawning basically on top of the spawner for the most part. Um, which is interesting. Really the most important thing is, is that they aren't spawning inside of stones. Which is what they were doing sometimes before. So you're not going to be getting sniped from drow gear that are just hanging out stuck inside of stones. Apparently there was a Lox Pet sound effects fix. Whichever... Whatever sound it was beforehand wasn't the one that they intended for it, so that's been changed. Torches and locations should no longer support constructions. So hopefully <laughs> hopefully you don't have any buildings that are supported in any way by torches. Although if you do, I want to see a video of it loading and falling apart. I want to see that happen. I hope somebody posts that. Um, the dolmen location stone size fixed. Um, so there was already a patch <clears throat> in one of the past patches. They did a thing where the rock at the top of the dolmens shouldn't be falling down anymore. But but it still seems like that does happen from time to time. Um, so I think this um, I, th I think this will help kind of prevent that even more. I think that's the point. Um, the dolmens are, are the kinds of things that are around, um, they're kind of like little, kind of like surface graves, I guess, that sometimes there, sometimes there's just treasure hanging out above ground, sometimes there's, um, bone piles, every once in a while there's a skeleton in them, but they're just like another place that you can find treasure. Uh, the new terrain modification system, which we've already gone over, terrain modification priority changed, which then goes on to say... Terrain modifications in an area should load before buildings. Only applies to the new terrain modification system. So basically it just, it, it does probably the harder part first. Um, I guess I would assume that that's why it does that. World loading tweaks to fix issues with ships and buildings getting damaged while loading. Occasionally, sometimes when a world would load, stuff would just get damaged in the loading. So hopefully that, could, so it seems like that's been fixed. 
Stop server list download when leaving the start menu to decrease network bandwidth usage, which is awesome. Lower the amount of stone required to raise ground using the hoe. Thank goodness. Um, it, it's gone from four to two, and I am super excited about that. It does seem like some of the cheatier ways to build walls using raised ground um, don't work anymore. You don't you don't get like the quote free walls by standing on a fully raised wall and and clicking on the edge to get it to just raise to the same level, which I'm fine with to be honest with you. Um, because in the long run, you know, trying to adjust the terrain for like an individual house or whatever, it's it's such a it's such a headache to just you know have to get more stone if you messed up or whatever. So so the reduction of the um, <clears throat> the reduction of the stone requirement is 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 big. That's it. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. So that's it. It's a small patch. Um, a small patch that we're only going to see a little bit of on our end, but it, it does seem like it's going to have big effects on the, I guess we'll call it the back end. Um, anything that helps with with overall performance is good. Um, you know, they're, they're still really trying to capitalize off of having this consistently increasing number of playtesters, <laughs> essentially. And, you know, they're, they're getting a lot done with, with the, the size of a team they have. So I'm excited about this. I hope you're excited about that. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll all keep playing. And I look forward for when the big update comes out. Um, but until then, you know, it's, it's, it's these little things that are, that are kind of like walking us there that are, that are keeping me excited. So that is going to be it for today. Tomorrow we're going to have another episode of the multiplayer series out which I'm excited about, and I look forward to seeing you next time in the Lapis Kingdom. Have a great day. Bye.